Hey, good morning friends. This is Abhishek from TechWirus and I'm here with a new video where I'll be showing you how you can install Windows 10 Preview Edition on your system virtually by using VMware Player. So first of all, you need to download the ISO image of Microsoft Windows 10 Technical Preview. So you can just search on Google and you can get it easily. So just type in Microsoft Windows 10 Kickass Torrent and you will get this site. And here we have two torrents like 164-bit addition and 132-bit addition. So you can download any one of them. So it will be approximately 3.5 MGB. Second thing you will be requiring VMware Player. You can get it easily on VMware.com. And it's a free software. You don't have to pay anything for this. So once the site loads up, you need to scroll down and you need to find for VMware Player. And on the right hand side, it will be uh, there will be a download link just click on the download link and you might have to register you just register and download this vmware player it's absolutely free so once the vmware player is downloaded and installed the icon will look like this the yellow color icon and just open this icon and sometimes what happens it will ask for the update of the software so uh, i have downloaded it quite long ago so i must get some kind of alert like i, I need to upgrade this vmware player so yeah now you can see uh, I'm getting this pop-up so obviously you have to click on download and install because always go for the newer version because in the older version you don't know what will be supported and what will not be supported so this will take some time like um, 10 to 15 minutes to download the newer version and then I can proceed with the installation of Windows 8 So what I'll do I'll pause the video here and then I'll come back once this installation is completed okay now you can see our download is completed and I'm just forwarding the video and everything is installing in fast mode oh. so I just don't want to cut the video because I want to show you like what all happens during the installation process so it's in just fast forward mode okay now you can see the VMware player has been installed uh, the, and has been upgraded now I'll go ahead with the installation of Windows 10. So first of all, what I need to do, I click on create new. Then I have to browse for the ISO image where I've saved in my system. So I've already selected this as an X drive. So for you, you need to browse and select your ISO image and then click on next. Once you click on next, it will ask for Windows key, leave it. Just click on next. Just click on yes. And then you can rename the virtual machine name. I have already installed once, so I am getting this option of two. So I'll just delete that. And uh, you can leave this location as it is. If you want to change, you can change it. The second thing here is like uh, how, how much disk space you want to give to this virtual machine. So I've selected 15. Now I'll go to customize hardware. I want to give it more RAM because I have 8 GB of RAM, so I can obviously give around 4 GB of RAM. I can actually go and type in on the top and top right hand side. Uh, that's quite easy. Okay, uh, okay. I, I need to upgrade the processor also. I have given two cores now, and then that's pretty okay. Now I'll move. I'll click on finish, and this will start creating the virtual drive. So this might take some time, so I'll pause the video here and I'll move ahead. All right, now you can see this uh, VMware has started installing the Windows 10 Preview Edition. This is the logo, what you will see for the first time. And the installation process will begin from here. This will look exactly like how you are installing on your standalone system without virtual machine. So this gives you complete same visuals or experience if you would have installed a base system without using any virtual machine okay so sort of starting up and this will take some time and first window is like accepting the agreement so I'll click yes and next and then I have to go for custom because I'm installing for the first time and then I will select the one new one drive that's 15 GB what I've allocated before and then again this um, installation copying everything happens and I'll just fast forward this video again because it will take approximately 15 to 20 minutes normally to install so I have forwarded the video so that it gets over in 30 seconds okay so now you can see it's about to complete now the system will restart not 
entire system only the virtual system will restart and once virtual system restarts it will again do basic configuration how windows 8 used to do so similarly windows 10 is also doing like it's getting devices ready installing few apps installing your desktop so those things will happen normally okay so this looks similar to windows 8 i cannot find any difference till now and same thing i need to sign into microsoft account so i'll put some my user id and password and i have to again validate this by giving the code and that's validated then i have another system which i'm using uh, Windows 8 so I've given the same ID and password and what it will do, do is like it will import all the desktop settings to my Windows 10 so that's quite good I don't have to arrange all my title icons program and use the desktop background and everything will work as I was working on my system okay so now you can see Windows 10 has completed its installation process and there is a warning it says like your build will be expired on 15th for 2015 and your PC will be restarting every few hours so this means like after one month I will not be able to use this windows properly it will keep on restarting every one hour and that's quite irritating so you have to uninstall this windows after one month okay so now you can uh, change the resolution for full screen mode you can go to display and then you can adjust resolution and you have lots of options and basically I'll go ahead and select the 1080p that's 1920 into 1080p I'll click OK now I can see everything in full HD mode so let me show you the start menu they have worked a lot on the start menu they have now shown the tiles here instead of going to another screen and if I click on any application it works similarly but you can see on the top uh, the close minimize those ribbon are visible now itself in Windows 8.1 we have to move our cursor up then those things will come so again it's going back to Windows 7 style okay so in PC settings I can see all my old wallpapers and other things because it synced with my Microsoft account and it picked up all the information from my other system so that that's good uh, let me get the my computer here and let me show you the properties how, how does it look so click on properties you will see the all the details and on top you can see Windows edition it's Windows technical preview it doesn't say Windows 10 because they don't know when they will change their name all right one very important thing if you are not able to go into full screen mode you have to go to player manage and install VMware tool this will install a DVD in your my computer just double click on that DVD and it will install VMware player then after that you will be able to go into full screen or high resolution mode so that's all about it I hope you like my video and if you like do share and subscribe my channel have a nice day bye bye